Hi, my name is Chris Bullock. I am the owner of the Wandering Bull Trading Post. We sell craft supplies, beads, leather, feathers, all over the country. We've been in business for 50 years. My dad started the business when we were kids. My wife and I now continue on 50 years later. What we're here today is to talk about tail fans. We're gonna use the tail fan that we currently sell. This is the wood block with the groove cut in it. So this is basically to make a quick, easy fan. What I have done is selected painted eagle feathers. These are turkey feathers painted to look like eagle feathers. So I've selected five. And we're basically gonna line these up so the tops are all uniform. And we wanna duplicate how these feathers come off of the bird. Um, and so there'll be two on the left, two on the right, and one on the center. But since these are wing feathers painted to look like tail feathers, there's not a true center feather. And the true center feather on these birds is symmetrical. There's the same amount of quill left and right. As you can see, this one is not, and this one is because these are wings. These are would be on the right side of the bird. So they're painted to look like eagle feathers. We're gonna line them up so that they would come basically off of the bird. So I want the tops to match and it's nice to get the black bar to match. And this is the key to a nice fan is setting the feathers. And that guy's close to being symmetrical. He still has a little bend to him. So I'm gonna trim a little bit off of this side. That's a little better. Looks pretty good. The blacks line up, the tips are close. If your tips move over time, you can go back and trim them after the fan is made. And I have the quill showing an area, so I want it really symmetrical. I'm gonna cover that quill I'm gonna move these guys a little closer. Put that center feather right down the middle. I'm kinda of happy with that. Move this guy over a little bit. Let's test the block. So, I want my block to sit roughly like that. So I need to cut off so an inch off the bottom of these feathers. So what I'm gonna do is tape them in place and I'm overhanging my cardboard just a little bit. So I'm gonna tape these down so they don't move. So I'm using masking tape and I'm just gonna lay it gently over the top. I don't wanna push it down. I basically wanna keep them from moving around. So I'm gonna do one at the top. One at the bottom. And now I can still adjust these guys a little bit. So that slot, I want it to sit roughly there. So I'm gonna mark my feathers. Right straight across. Hold these guys so they don't move. Well, that's what I'm looking for. My tops look good. I think they're symmetrical.
and I'm happy with that. I want to make sure it's we're straight, that my fan is not cooked to the side. So I'm going to take the hot glue gun and I'm basically going to fill the void with glue. The hot glue dries quickly, so, so you don't have a whole lot of time to play. So I'm going to just start by filling the void. So I'm working it in between each feather as I go. And I'll squirt some on the sides. Give it a second to cool down a little bit. Apply a little more. And once the feathers are set and that glue is essentially dry, I can then um, pull it off the board. But I want it to sit. Give it a second. And I still get a little movement. And the next step, if you wanted to decorate this, would be to put colored hackles up over the white fluffs of those feathers. Let's see, we're getting there. Um, you can in turn cover the, the, the wood handle with leather. So you have feathers at the top, leather, fringe at the bottom. Once again, put a handle on the bottom. A hackle is a chicken feather that's colored. These are hackles and they come off a rooster. They're white and um, they're dyed blue, obviously, because I don't think there's many light blue roosters running around, but who knows? I don't know everything, so I stand corrected if I still get a little movement in there. While we, while we let that set up, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'll show you some, I'll put a little more hot glue. Right on this guy here. I'm gonna take my hackles. I only want the tip. I'll lay that guy right on there. So I didn't need the big fluffy, I didn't want a big huge monster hackle. And I should be able to push it right into that previous hot glue. three or four at a time. Put a glue on this guy here. Push those hackles gently into the glue. And I'd roughly like them all the same length at the top. All right, I think my hot glue is, is set up. I don't have a whole lot of wiggle. I'm gonna pull it off the board. So basically, this is the gist. Um, the feathers are glued into the block. They are fairly symmetrical. I would add more hackles to basically cover all of the white on this side. So you would...
So that roughly would be my first layer of hackles. I'd certainly want to add more. I'd like it nice and full. And if you wanted, you could add another shorter row of hackles. Nice to keep the tops even. You want to fill this void in, fill the, the left and the right side. And you'd want to do the same on the back. So I have a little void on each side. I'm going to just put some hot glue in there and hold that in place. Keep these feathers from moving around on me over time. Let that glue set up in there a little bit. So while that's setting up, we could basically cover this guy with deer skin. Have a piece of white deer skin here. Get that glue to back inside. On the deer skin, the, the smooth side of the deer skin is where the hair follicles stick in and the suede side is against the animal. So this is white deer skin, it's been dyed white. If it came off the deer and it was not dyed at all, um, from the tannery we would get them and they'd be gray. Um, really kind of boring and not ideal. So 90% of the leather that you see out there today, has a dye has been applied to it, give it a color. So I wanna wrap the handle and I'm gonna make the seam in the back. This is the front. So I want the smooth side facing out. I'm gonna basically, I think that would roughly work. So I'm gonna trim this leather to fit onto this, this handle. And I don't like to waste leather, leather's expensive. I think I'll have enough. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna apply glue to the front of the fan, put it down onto the leather, wrap the back up over, and put a seam right down the back. And I want the leather to come right up to the bottom of the hackles. So let's put, and I'll do a little zigzag on the um, glue. That's probably more than enough. And I'm gonna place that right there. Push it in place. Put some glue on the back. Same thing, little zigzag. I wanna do the top too. So now I'm in the back and I have all this kind of, I'm gonna trim it up and put a little glue down the seam, fold it over, push it in place.
put a little more glue and a little loose around the end. And at this point, if you wanted to add fringe to your, um, your fan, you could insert it now and then wrap the end right over that guy. So we have the wood block with five painted eagle feathers inserted in, a few colored hackles, which needs to add more. You want to make it nice and full. Wrap the bottom with deer skin and the back. And if you wanted to add fringe, this is the point you'd do that and just clean that right up nice and neat. Thanks for watching the video. Once again, wanderingbull.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Give us a call at 1-800-430-2855. Thanks a lot and uh, have a great day.